This is Tom Duty, middle-aged American living in New Jersey near the Lincoln Tunnel. If you were to visit my website, you would type Howdy Duty into Google. You'll find the correct spelling of the famous puppet. You then combine Tom Duty in a Google search for my site. From AM New York, it's a free uh, weekday newspaper for New York City commuters. On the sports page, FIFA scandal, today's sports page, FIFA scandal reaches back 24 years. Law enforcement officials yesterday charged nine top FIFA officials and five others with conspiracy and corruption for actions that span several decades. In a 47-count indictment unsealed yesterday morning, U.S. prosecutors charged the defendants with racketeering, wire fraud, money laundering, and among other offenses, in conjunction with what the Justice Department called 24-year scheme. The stunning indictment unsealed in U.S. District Court, Brooklyn, names high-ranking of officials of the Federation Internationale de Football Association, FIFA, the organization that regulates and promotes soccer worldwide, as well as leading officials and other soccer governing bodies. They corrupted the business of worldwide soccer to serve their interests and enrich themselves, Attorney General Loretta Lynch said at a Brooklyn news conference. Bribes and kickbacks were used to steer decisions who would televise games, where those games would be played and held, and who would run the organization overseeing organized soccer worldwide, she added. As all told, Lynch said, the indictment soccer officials are charged with conspiracy involving the solicitation and receipt of more than 150 million, 150 million in bribes and kickbacks. Lynch served until last month as Brooklyn-based U.S. attorney overseeing the previous uh, secret investigation that secured several unsealed guilty pleas in late 2013. The guilty pleas were made public for the first time yesterday, along with other indictments. As part of the investigation, Swiss officials arrested seven of the indicted individuals in Zurich. The, several, uh, the seven men arrested face extradition charges to the U.S., which they can fight. FBI agents early yesterday also conducted a search at the CONCACAF soccer headquarters in Miami. That's the end of the news report on the sports page from the same paper, AM New York, an editorial without an editorialist name. So he or she has written for this paper, uh, published this opinion, and this paper has not credited the writer. It is known around the, uh, uh, soccer has the red card coming to it. It is known around the world that the beautiful game of soccer for decades has reveled in this image. Barefoot children kick balls in crowded slums. Stadiums swell with crazed fans. Stars earn millions of dollars every year. And all of it makes clear the passion that infuses the world's most popular sport. But the beautiful game is now clear is rotten at the top. Officials allege persuasive, pervasive corruption in soccer's governing body going back two decades. It infected broadcasting, marketing deals, World Cup bids. And as many followers of the beloved sport, the reaction was, at last. Allegations of corruption and bribery have been widespread for years. It finally was called out by the Department of Justice, which took advantage of federal laws, giving it wide latitude to go for foreign nationals who accept illegal payments paid through American banks. The indictment charged 14 people, nine FIFA officials, five U.S. and South American marketing executives with racketeering, wire fraud, and money laundering. The selection of the United States to host the major tournament next year was linked to $110 million in bribes. There's more to come. The indictment refers to 25 unidentified co-conspirators, and the investigation is ongoing. Swiss authorities have opened their own investigation. A New Yorker at the top, U.S. soccer official turned informant, 
who already pleaded guilty, collected evidence with key chain outfitted w with a microphone. And dashing touch of James Bond in an otherwise sordid tale. It's an old story. People in power. Parlaying passion for personal profit. But epic individual greed has wider cost. Imagine the good those millions of dollars could have done for the kids FIFA professes to care so much about. The fields that could have been built, the equipment purchased, the instruct instruction delivered, and the lives influenced. Sports is supposed to teach the fundamental importance of fair play, but time and time again we're reminded that many in charge do not feel bound by the simple precept. And there's nothing beautiful about that at all. This has been Tom Duty, middle-aged American living in New Jersey near the Lincoln Tunnel. If you were to visit my website, you would type Howdy Duty into Google. You'll find the correct spelling of the famous puppet. You then combine Tom Duty in a Google search for my site. Thank you for listening. Have a good day. Good evening or restful night's sleep.